Today, I am going to make life hacks for all your problems. Uh, kind of like every other day. <laughs> I guess I'm good. It says my biggest problem in life has got to be where I work. Sometimes work in a tipped position. And in that position, I have people tip me ripped bills, half bills, tape bills. I've even gotten 15 cents before. I guess I'm good. It's okay if you're not good. You can guess not to be good. I have a shoulder right here if you want to cry over it. Don't like soak my shirt or anything. <laughs> cry on the carpet behind me. I guess I'm good. I think I have the life hack that will. Uh, no, I'm totally good you okay <laughs> how about however much i catch you can keep deal i got you this oh and this one and then these got you that got you this yeah well i also caught one of these uh with my face but i caught it this is a hundred and it felt like it. <laughs> 101. 124 dollars. Send me your PayPal or uh, Venmo or something. I'll contact you. 124 dollars. Yeah, I'll keep this one. You know what? If you did that every day, you wouldn't even have to go to work. That's just something I thought of when I was in the vacuum of paper cut death. Damn. Oh, 125. <laughs> You're welcome. How do you feel now? Welcome back to the ever-expanding Dudaverse, you sweaty little duders. Uh, Flex Tape says, Hey Brandon, I have a problem. My mom wants me to meet her friend's daughter next week, and she says she's very talkative and nice, but I'm not. What do? Love your vids, by the way. Flex Tape, I don't understand why you think I would help you. Okay, coming in here with duct tape slander, okay? Flex Tape, you working for the competition? My life hack for you, Flex Tape, is yo mama should invite more people who are talkative and nice. Yeah, expect a whole party full of talkative, nice people. Y'all aren't gonna have one of these, okay? No way, way too short of notice. You ain't gonna get it in time. Kitten in Chaos says day five of asking Brandon to recreate all of his favorite duct tape hacks with black gorilla duct tape. Duct tape is weak AF. Okay, Flex and Kitten. Not a Flex and Kitten, but you, both, you got both y'all. Can Flex tape do this? <laughs> get on my level, gorilla tape. And then help me down. Yeah. Do that flex tape. Hey, you mind if I borrow some of that $125 I tipped you earlier? I need to buy more duct tape. Now that'd be the last of the duct tape slander. You hear me? <laughs> I can't believe I just set up for one hour <laughs> to do five seconds of a bit. I must really like you. I do. Okay, Giovanna says, hey Brandon, hi Giovanna. I've been struggling with my body image lately and was wondering if you had any tips on how to make my body look how I want, how to gain self-confidence, thanks. Also, my name is pronounced Giovanna. My apology is pronounced sorry. Yovana, you're actually in luck because yesterday I heard that they created something to where you're already enough and and then that's it and you're perfect just the way you are and you can have self-confidence no matter how you look and then get to where you want to be health-wise. I don't know, but I think you're amazing and great and perfect how you are. Don't change for anybody else, but if you want to change for you, I'm all for it. You have my full support. Hopefully you feel supported. Yep, just like my old duct tape G-string. Yep, went right up there when I sat on it. Cole Meek says, hey Brandon, hi Cole. Uh, me and my fiance have a husky and she just turned a year old. She's very big for her age and she can get into our sink and grab dishes. So you're telling me you have a dog that does the dishes. Okay, I'm not hearing a problem here. She hides them around the house, including the knives. How do we stop this? Cole. <laughs> How attached are you to this husky? <laughs> in order for me to come up with a life hack, I gotta figure out where we stand. Okay, you got a big, big husky that likes to hide the knives and most likely likes to play rough. Yeah, Cole, super simple. You just have to keep her occupied enough that she doesn't notice that the dog is behind her. Boom, takes out the fiance, you run out the back door. Wait, how attached are you to the fiance? <laughs> Nicole C says, my hamster hangs upside down and crawls around the roof of his cage. He also jumps around and jumps off high places. I don't know what to do, any hacks? Let him. This is pretty cool. Michelle without a Z. Sorry, Michelle. Uh, my problem is that my chicken sandwiches can never hold enough chicken. I can fix that. It's a holes reference. You need bigger bread. Hold on, let me cut this first. Come here, hey. Thank you. Yeah, just get your bigger bread. Ooh. You lost a leg. You must have been playing with the dog. Put that back. Bigger bread, bigger chicken, bigger sandwich. Posing for a thumbnail. Shut up. <laughs> I never use the thumbnails I pose for. It just happens to be something else. I don't know. That's real good. <laughs> Michelle without a Z, uh, glad I could help. Samantha Dyer says, my problem is not having any good problems for this. I understand, Samantha. I think I got something for you. Hold this. Yeah, and then hold these. You're gonna have a couple problems you can deal with in a couple seconds. She don't bite, okay, but she does poke. Insomniac says, I have two dogs and they both like to attack anyone that is wearing rainbow. 
Uh, I think they're homophobic. Dogs can't be homophobic. Even though I'm trans and pan, I feel pretty sure that they hate me because they seem to only tolerate me because I feed them. Uh oh. <laughs> Pro tip, don't feed your dog Skittles then, okay? Aren't dogs colorblind? Am I colorblind? <laughs> what are these? What's happening? They take off those. First off, no. I don't think your dogs are homophobic. Two, aren't dogs colorblind? Three, I think your dogs just hate stripes. <laughs> Hear me out, maybe both of your dogs are really into fashion and they're just letting other people know, hey, you're gonna wear stripes today? Really? Stripes? Today? With that waist? I don't think so. Okay, that's them barking, but they're speaking full sentences in a real choppy way that sounds aggressive. Maybe they're just letting your friends know to stop wearing stripes, it makes them look stumpy. I didn't say it, okay? Um, yeah, the words came out of my mouth. Sabrina Anderson says, I can never catch that darn red dot. <laughs> Sabrina, sometimes I too think I can catch that red dot and I cannot. It's, it, 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 it's just elusive, okay? Oh no, hey, don't, don't freak out. I think the dog found other things. <laughs> I think the dog's done with the knives now. Clark says I just can't. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to learn. Scooter says, how do I make sure I have toilet paper when I go to the bathroom? Good question. Sometimes you go in the bathroom, you end up doing a one and a half when you're only expecting one, okay? And that's a fraction you don't wanna be left without toilet paper. I like to make sure that I'm prepared. Now, what you could do is store all your toilet paper in your bathroom, but these are life hacks, okay? Not things your great, great grandparents did back in the 1990s. Simple hack. Okay, oh no, I've been struck by the bladder goblin and I need to go number one. I go to the bathroom. Yeah, big uh-oh, the bowel behemoth is there. This way, whenever you go to the bathroom and you get blindsided by kidney juice and hard toots, <laughs> you're prepared because once you start your business, I apologize for this visual, all that toilet paper you swallowed finishes that business. Okay, boom. Glad it could help, Scooter. Now you won't have to keep scooting that bum on our decorative carpet, okay? Please stop doing that. Bean Queen 16 says, nobody blinks when I blink. Okay, we'll count down. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Ree Harrison says, my other half will not stop snoring. It's like a freight train rolling by. I need sleep. Help me before I do something I may regret. Ree, how attached are you to your other half? <laughs> Carol Craig says, hi, Brandon. Hi, Carol Craig. Uh, I use a lot of duct tape for everyday problems. A lot of those hacks you've suggested. My kids and I tested them for funsies. Thank you. And just one problem left. How do you get the duct tape off quickly off, let's say, skin without taking flesh with it? Easy. Now a lot of people are afraid of duct tape and I get it. Super owie sticky stuff. See, now when I was up there on my trap of G-string, um, yeah, I felt trapped. Um, there was duct tape touching places on my body that I haven't touched since I was flexible enough to do so, okay? And I got down without a scratch. Some light bruising, no cuts though. Oopsie daisy. It seems as though I've put the strongest adhesive on planet Earth on my sweet, sweet, delicate little white pasty arms. You ain't gonna wanna rip it off. You're gonna scream real loud and high pitched. The dog's gonna come in real excited, then you will have a couple cuts and bruises. What I like to do, just take a piece of duct tape, stick it on that piece that's stuck on your arm. Oh, yeah, mom, breakfast already? Doesn't take the skin with it. <laughs> Takes a little bit of your soul, but it does not take the skin. <laughs> Filipino American Boy TV replied and said, sure, let me get the Monopoly board back out. If you don't know, the last video me and Filipino American Boy TV decided to play a game of Monopoly. And so far we're doing pretty good. Okay, well they're doing good. I'm in quite a bit of debt. I set it up out here so there's no distractions with my shenanigans. This is your money, keep track. You have Snowy Solitude and Shadow Pond. I'm broke, I don't have anything. I rolled an eight so I get to go twice. One, two, seven, eight. <laughs> Joy painting. Get out of jail free card. Let me go again. Five. Lucky me. One, two, three, four, five. You've got to be kidding me! Go to something big. Advance to Winter Hideaway. What the heck is Winter Hideaway? Holy crap, it's the big one. I'm buying it. It's mine. I, I, me. All right, this is your roll. Eight. Soothing Vista for 220. You want it? Let me know. Oh, how the tables have remained the same in your favor. Your local gay says, hi Brandon, hi your local gay. I struggle with blacking out, getting dizzy, and while I'm blacked out, I do things that I will have no memory of, such as falling downstairs and walking into, <laughs> walking into walls. So when you're, uh, let me get this straight. So when you're blacking out, you do things such as faint. <laughs> I think you're just fainting a lot, which, could be your diet. In that case, I'll give you a visual on what you could do better. Okay. Stop eating hot dogs. Right. <laughs> why are you, why is this happening to you? I need to know, otherwise I can't fix it. You can make you one of these duct tape buttless chaps, which is what I've made here. That way when you black out, you're covered. Okay. Well, not really, because you're, 
I mean, your buns are out and stuff. <laughs> but I mean, you ain't gonna fall down. You might. Hmm. Just don't. Glad I could help. Scared for life. Three, two, one says, "Hey, Brandon, has scared for life." Three, two, one. Uh, I love showering in really hot showers, but whenever I get out, it's really cold. Anything you could recommend to stay warm? Yeah. Let's say you just got out of the shower and you don't want to stop being in the shower because you love the hot water. Because with my patented flower guard, dang, that's hot water. You just never have to go another second without enjoying hot water. You might waterboard yourself, but you're also into that. So <laughs> good, good for you. Water rush. Ugh. Good. Get you one of these. <laughs> hey, that's it. I love you. I hope you have the best day ever. Mainly because I said so, but mostly because you want to. What is your problem? Let me know in the comment section below. Maybe you'll be in the next video. Love you. Hope you have the best. I already said, yeah, okay. Love, okay. Get this off. Hey, come on. <laughs> come cut this out.